Hey guys, it's Nacelle. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune into this video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. So as you can tell by the title today, I have another wax melt haul. And this is another new to me vendor. And I'm very, very, very excited because this is from Rose Girls. And even from back in the day, like in 2015, I believe, like 2014, 15, um, Rose Girls was a highly sought after company and even till this day from what I understand uh, being on her Facebook group page it is a little bit difficult to get her especially when she has restocks so it's a little bit difficult to snag your scents that you like I know she offers um, mini melters on her website like all the time at least I think she has like a certain stock that she keeps on the website at all times at least that's what I'm thinking I don't really know because like I said this is the first time I'm ordering but she had a ready to ship restock on Thursday and I tried so hard to get up on it um, I had two additional mini melters in my cart, but as I was checking out, they jumped out of my cart because they were sold out. So there were two that I unfortunately wasn't able to snag, but other than that, like, I got pretty much all I wanted. Like, there were only two, and even then, I'm just happy that I got something, you know? This is one of the things, like, that I don't like about homemade vendors, certain vendors, is that it's almost like Hunger Games style, and I don't like that. It's very stressful for me, and sometimes, like, I just don't have the time to be sitting at my computer or on my phone at the given time where the website opens, and, like, hurry up and put things in my cart. Like, that's just way too stressful for me, but like I said, I'm really happy that I was able to get some things. So, this is how it came. I haven't unboxed this yet. I literally just opened it and turned on my camera. So this is definitely like a first impressions unboxing type of thing. So this is what her business card looks like. The owner is Jenny Oaks and it looks like this. And then the back side just looks like this. I really like this business card. I heard from somebody, I'm not sure who it is, um that this is her new business card, but I really like it. It's just very sleek, and I love, like, black. So this is what the um, tissue paper, it's just black confetti, really pretty. And then it came with an extra protection bubble wrap, and then this is my order. Guys, I'm, like, so excited for this. I'm so excited. Everyone hears amazing, great, wonderful things about her wax. So I'm very excited to, like, see what all the hype's about after all these years, right? So I'm not seeing um, an invoice, and I did watch a video, and um, that YouTuber was saying that she doesn't include an invoice. I wish she did, just because I don't want to, you know, always be constantly referring back to my email, but that's okay. I have it pulled out on my phone here. So I ordered the Coffee and Heavy Bakery Mini Melter Sampler, and then I got three other Mini Melter scents. So what is this one? Oh, I think this is a sample because I don't, I did not order this. It's not on my list. Yeah, I think this is a sample, guys. So this is the Vanilla Sandalwood Campfire Marshmallows and Vanilla Lace. This is such a generous sample. Look at that. That is very generous. Wow. So yeah, Vanilla Sandalwood Campfire Marshmallows and Vanilla Lace. Vanilla Lace, I believe, is a dupe um, for Victoria's Secret Vanilla Lace. I could be completely wrong, though. <laughs> So, let's see. Oh my gosh, this one smells really good. I can definitely get the sandalwood and the vanilla lace. Those are the two prominent notes that I get on cold. And that smokiness from the campfire marshmallows is just making this such a really nice bedroom scent. Like, this is like that cozy, sensual bedroom type of scent. Yeah, this one's really good. Thank you so much. This one's amazing. I really, I honestly would not have ordered this otherwise, so I'm really excited to go ahead and try this out, especially since I have a few um, blocks to play with. So that was my free sample. And then I believe this here is the sampler. And then these are the three scents that I got. So let me go over these first. So this one here is an Oreo Snickers coffee. Now, I love coffee. As you guys know, I am literally a coffee fiend. Funny story today, I was so cranky this morning because I didn't have my cup of, co my cup of coffee, my first cup, 
until maybe like four hours in after being awake and I had a raging headache. It was so bad <laughs> until like I took that first sip and I just felt so alive and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. I'm definitely a caffeine addict and I am like hands down. I am. So I had to get this, especially since it was mixed with Oreo and Snickers. I was like, I need to see what this is all about. So let me go ahead and smell this. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells delicious. Literally delicious. I do get the coffee note, but it's not like a straight up espresso coffee. Like it's definitely almost like a cream and sugar type of coffee. I think Tara got this one as well. I just watched her video last night and she really liked this one too and I do too. <laughs> I was really excited when she said she liked it because I was like oh my gosh I ordered that one too. So this one's really good. I cannot wait to go ahead and melt this. So that's Oreo Snickers coffee. This next one here is Fireside Marshmallow type and pie crust. So Fireside Marshmallow I believe is a Bath and Body Works dupe for marshmallow fireside it would make sense because it says type and then pie crust pie crust is a scent that i just adore you guys know i love my gourmand bakery scents so i just had to get this i'm cold it kind of smells a little bit off to me i think it's the pie crust yeah her pie crust is a little bit yeah like it's not bad but it's just I guess on cold, it, it's just like a weird combination to my nose. I don't know. I'm very curious to see how this is when I melt it. Um, I'm not sure with the cure time on these. I think Tara said we don't need to leave these to cure because these were poured from a custom order done a while ago. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. I would have to melt it, but right now on cold, it's a little bit iffy on me. Um, I think it's because of the pie crust. I don't know. Like I said, I typically usually love pie crust from any vendor, but again, this is the first time that I'm ordering from Rose Girl, so maybe I don't like her pie crust. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's just this specific combination, but I'm curious to see how that's going to smell when I melt it. <clears throat> and then this last one I got is in cucumber and pink sugar. So I got this one to melt in the bedrooms and this just sounded very relaxing. Yeah, this smells amazing. I love this one. You get cucumber. It's such a refreshing, juicy cucumber scent and then it's definitely sweetened out with the pink sugar this one is an awesome combination for the bedroom like I said especially for the summertime so I'm really excited to try that out so those are all the scents that I ordered specifically and then I ordered this sampler right here so it's really cute that she puts it in this like purple drawstring bag so all right let's pull this out so this first one here is Absolute Coffee and Monster Cookie. So I've been hearing a ton of good things about her Absolute Coffee and her Monster Cookie. Oh yeah, this is really, really good. That coffee note is strong. And I love coffee notes. Again, I love coffee. So this one smells really good. I'm really curious to see what the Monster Cookie is going to smell like as I melt it. Like if it will come out more. Um, I'm just not really familiar with this, the Monster Cookie. I just heard it's really good. But I don't know like the specific notes. So otherwise, like this is an amazing scent. I'm not complaining whatsoever. Oh my gosh, do you guys hear that? The wind is ridiculous. This next one here is Dunk My Donut, Gilligan's Brew, and Peeps Cake. Tara was saying that she loves Dunk My Donut. This one smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This smells amazing. I'm not sure what it is that I'm getting that I really like. Like, it honestly could be either these three or these three combined. But I, this is amazing. I have to pinpoint, like, which one it is of the three that I'm really getting, like, upon first sniff. But my first impression is that this is, like, bomb. <laughs> this is bomb. I cannot wait to go ahead and melt that. So this next one here, oh my gosh, I am so excited for this one. Look at this, guys. 
This one is Sugar Cookie Dough, Monster Cookie, Royal Sugar Cookie, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Waffle Cone. What the heck? Oh my gosh, this sounds literally just right up my alley. Oh my goodness. This, oh, this is super delicious. I seriously, like, cannot wait to melt this. There's so much stuff going on in this fragrance, like, so many different notes that I can't quite pinpoint which is which exactly. But I will tell you, this cream cheese frosting is definitely in here because I my nose can detect that. So this, I'm so excited to go ahead and melt. I feel like this, honestly, even though there's already a ton of um, a ton of oils in here, I feel like this would also make a good mixer. Then this one is warm vanilla sugar and vanilla crunch donuts. Warm vanilla sugar, I believe, is her. Well, obviously, it's like a dupe for warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. This one smells really light. Yeah, this one smells really light right now. Um, I feel like, again, this would be a really good mixer. Um, probably on its own, it would just be, like, more of a light scent. Like, I feel like this wouldn't be really that strong in my kitchen, where it's, like, in a wide open concept area. But maybe in my bedroom, like, while mixed with other stuff, this would be really nice. But overall, like, the scent itself is really nice. Like, I really like it a lot. But it's just light. So... That's that one. This next one is Absolute Coffee, Wackadoodle, Butterbrickle, and Pancakes. I don't know what, what um, her Wackadoodle scent is. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, I am living for that Absolute Coffee. I can see why everybody likes it a lot. So this one, I don't really get much aside from the Absolute Coffee. Um, maybe it's just because, like, you know... These scents here are more secondary and the more complimentary. Coffee, though, like coffee, the fragrance oil in and of itself is really strong. So I'm not surprised why that's the only scent I can pick out at the moment. But again, I feel like this would be a pretty good mixer. But I'm also excited to try this out on its own. I'm obviously excited to try all of these out on their own. But it's also giving me ideas on how to mix. So this last one I have for you is... Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs, BZB, and Vanilla Bean Noel. What is BZB? Is ZB Zucchini Bread? I'm guessing Zucchini Bread, but I don't know what the B is. I have no idea. But yeah, so that's what this one is. And this one. This one's interesting. Yeah, this one's interesting because I don't really get much from here. Um, like it's one of those scents where it kind of smells like really light vanilla. I don't know. I'm curious to see like how this melts. I feel like that's like my number one freeze <laughs> of this video. But yeah, so it's really good though. Um, I love bakery scents as you guys know. So of course I'm excited to go ahead and melt all of these. I feel like a lot of these would make for some really good mixers. So again, I am really curious to see and try out um, her wax just because so many people love it and it's like I said it's hard to get some of her wax because you know you guys know how the restocks are so that is everything that I got thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video I truly appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video peace